this video is a continuation of the previous video so if we run this and we try to uh, enter the correct value it says successfully save if I try to give myself thousand it will say error in saving so remember this will actually save the data so we have no chance of knowing if there is a possibility of error so now we will make the change uh, to it uh, in a way where we can handle the error in advance but before that uh, we have we want to sh see some more details about the error so what we will do is we will try to get the um, message there are two uh, uh, objects or uh, the uh, um, variables which are available which is the column and then the message so we will say concat 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 yeah concat and then errors Then we'll try to get the column name. Column. Concat that. Column and. And message comma notification type so instead of this we will have a custom message concatenate errors comma the column then codes and then the message and then of course the error so let's run this and see and if there is no uh, error then that in, that means it is empty then it will say successfully save so let's run this score so the column score has the issue okay so we can also uh, write it like this error in score the value was must be between 0 and 100 so if you want to know exactly the type of the errors so this is what we use so we with more description error in column score value must be between 0 and 100 so, okay so we'll put a space back there now if you want to use a validate function okay if you want to use a validate function then you can check it in advance so if is blank and then validate Student score default EDF AUL defaults student score and then open bracket close bracket 
inside this we'll have title is text input underscore title dot text comma score is value of text input underscore score o dot text then close the bracket for validate we close the bracket for is blank then notify or we can use this <laughs> valid now we are not saving valid data entered information comma else there will be error invalid data entered it's only information so in either case we can let it be there for some time here we can make it error okay now what is it complaining about okay we haven't uh, closed one bracket semicolon okay if is blank and uh, we will validate student score with the defaults of student score title against title text underscore text dot value text input title dot value dot text score value of text input score dot text then we close this this then is blank closes here missing a comma here so this will validate before saving so we will not patch yet invalid data entered we are not going we are not trying to patch anything we are not trying to patch anything remember we have not patched is not giving any error here in the previous lessons we were getting error but here there is no error okay even if we enter 1000 10 valid data entered so this is how you uh, validate your data even before patching so is blank validate is the function the, it is exactly like patch you see here defaults patch. everything is like patch except that it's instead of patch it's a validate function and is blank if it's inks blank that means no error valid data is answered and if it is blank then invalid data so uh, this is the uh, logic for validating the data even before saving is so we have covered uh, the advanced error uh, to display more detail about the error and also the uh, validate before patching that's it